Radical. Welcome to part three of Radical Rad Fire Cover Response for August 15th through August 21st, 2022. Sure comes quick reply. Zombie 38. Rad Rick and his almost futile mission of opening the eyes of the simps of this world. Well, there's nothing you can really do on that mission. I mean, look at how much money people gave that one YouTuber for her bathwater. Y- you can't. You can't. There's even like t-shirts they sell simp army. I don't understand it. I don't get it. You know, it'd be one thing if you're actually trying to pay money and try to get with a female that you have a shot, a shot at getting or pursuing a female in real life. But the craziest thing, one of the craziest things I've ever seen is all these supposed men online that will not only give donations to attractive females, married attractive females, but then turn around and defend that practice and defend that person when they do scummy things like, for instance, uh, Lady Decade. Yeah, you're not going to win that mission. Nick 15 UK. There's a copy of Soleil on the Shelf, one of the rarest Mega Drive games worth at least 100 pounds alone. Okay, so what you're telling me is, what you're telling me is, Lady Decade was not aware that she had that, which was 100 pounds in value. What you're telling me here is, okay. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to defend her. She had no idea the value of the game's behind. I thought, again, how do you defend that? You have this upload crying about, I, I can't get 500 pounds. I don't know what I'm going to do, or whatever she said. And all she had to do is spin the chair around and look right behind her. Oh, wait. No worry, everybody. No donations needed. I, I I got I got the money right here. I got it. No big. In fact, since I'm a big time YouTuber, these simps will probably give me double value for this. See, think about that. If she went to sell those games, <laughs> she would still get tons more money than the actual value. Yes. And the author, 2007. The NFL is not rigged or scripted. That's just stupid. Part of what I do here is correct others. And, you know, I'm a human being, Andy Arthur. I'm not a god. There's been times in my own life when, believe it or not, I was corrected. Not any time recently, but there's been times in my life where I was corrected. Especially on YouTube now, the way that I uh, spin these and, you know, shoot these uploads out and I really don't have time for it. Then there's probably going to be errors here and there. That's not an error, though. That's something that I, as a football fan, as someone that followed football for years and was really invested, came to the obvious conclusion of, Andy, it's okay, man. It's okay. Sometimes we just don't see the obvious. Sometimes we're all stupid. We're all human beings, okay? But if you're saying that I'm stupid because, you know, I see what's going on in the NFL and the fact that some of the games, not all, okay, not everything, but some of the games towards the playoffs, towards the end, they do some rigging. There's just too many instances where you're like, how in the hell did they call that play? What? That doesn't make any sense. It does make sense, Andy. It does make sense. When you look at Vegas, when you look at the money, when you look at rigging, it's just kind of obvious. Just put the pieces together, man. Sirbaugh42, you got one of them old 90s keyboards, don't you? I can hear the ancient tapping. Well, well number one, the 90s keyboards... They, they're not USB. They are round, right? So I couldn't be using a 90s keyboard because, you know, they, it's not even the same plugins. Number two, I have a brand new keyboard I have not hooked up that is a gaming keyboard. And the clicks are heavier on that. It's, it's a gaming keyboard. And it's very clicky. So the clicky keyboards, you'll find them old and new. Red Stratus 97, really love that Scatman song back in the Scatman! If I can do it, you can too. I can't talk fast like the Scatman. It's a really sad story of the Scatman. Well, you know, sad and inspiring. He was in his 50s when he actually made that song, and he died of lung cancer when he was 57. So he had a couple, couple more big songs after the Scatman song. But what's inspiring is, and he says, if I can do it, you can too. Basically, he had a bad stutter. And he turned that, you know, he, he turned that to his advantage and he, he did the scat. And none of you leave any comments about, you know, he was not into that. Okay, just because he was called the scat man, not into that. 
Dumez, car combat games on PlayStation 5, Destruction All-Stars. It looks good, looks like it would play good. One major problem, though, it is online only. No single-player game. I don't get how you can have that in an in online-only game like that. Because if you look at the history, specifically PlayStation Twisted Metal, those games were big on split-screen co-op. So of all the games, I would think all the, all the platforms, come on, you know? How are you going to have a... And it's not like Twisted Metal. It's not. It's different. I've seen the gameplay. It's different. But for those of you that would like Twisted Metal, I mean, Destruction All-Stars, drive around in cars and destroy other vehicles. It's different. There's a focus on the characters, which is interesting. It's an interesting element to where you can actually jump out of your vehicle and run around the, the play area and then get powers and jump into other cars. So it's a bit unique. The graphics are okay. I mean, it doesn't scream to me, next gen. I don't know when I'm going to see some games that really scream to me and say, you need this. It's next gen. It looks like an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 game for the most part. Uh, but yeah, there's fun elements. It does look good. I agree. Uh, is the idea that they're going to have that come become a $70 game? I think it's free on uh, the PlayStation service, isn't it? Not sure. You say, no one's playing also. Hmm. It's kind of weird. No one's playing it. You think that'd be the kind of game, uh, especially from starved people that want some new games on the PlayStation 5, they would be playing. But yeah, again, I just can't believe that they don't have a split-screen co-op mode in a game like that.